Here at Cheltenham, we've just seen an extraordinary story unfold. Vintage Clouds winning the Ultima on the fifth attempt. Ryan Mania on his back. You must be dead chuffed. Oh, it's unreal. <laughs> it's unreal. Um, I can't. I can't work out whether it'd be better with the crowds or not because I've, I've had a chance to walk in and, and take it all in. You know, a winner at Cheltenham's first ever winner at Cheltenham, and um, not just the festival. Um, and it's just unbelievable, uh, especially for an old horse like that. Um, to come back year after year, he really is an old warrior, he really is cool. Yeah. He's a fantastic warrior and it was the jumping, he asked questions of those horses behind him, didn't he? Yeah, he did. Uh, look, he, you know, Mick Meager, uh, Mr Hemmings, his, his racing manager, says, look, let's put cheek pieces on him next time. You know, his, completely his idea and, and they've just sharpened him up. You know, he's always been so genuine and so tough, but it, it just sharpened him up over his fences. You know, he was a lot slicker today. He's always been a really good jumper, but he was a lot slicker and through there and he wasn't wasting a lot of time, so they've helped the, helped the hell of a lot. Um, when, when did you decide to, to take the race on, to take the race by the scruff of the neck? What were you thinking there? Um, I don't know, it's just, a, I suppose it's just a feeling you get. You know, he was going so well underneath me and, you know, when you see a nice stride and he comes out your hands and, and you, you gain some, some ground, you sort of just got to keep kicking. Um, and I knew, you know, I know he stays four miles, so I knew he would get home. Um, whereas last year in this race, he didn't quite see it out and that was down to sort of needing his, his, his wind operation. Um, and he's, oh, look, I can't fault him. He's, he's jumped and he's travelling, he's staying up the hill. I mean, what more do you want? Nothing more. <laughs> Nothing more, because he's, he's, a, he's a typical festival story, isn't he? The kind of horse who comes back year on year and manages to deliver a success. But significantly, a northern trained winner. That must be really, you must be really pleased for Sue Smith. Yeah, I, I'm unbelievably pleased. It, you know, it hasn't maybe been the best year for Sue and Harvey on, on, on numbers, um, but you know, the horses are all in good form and, you know, we've had some, had some nice winners and they've got some nice horses in the yard, so it's great for them and great for the North. And, you know, it couldn't happen to, to two nicer people and, and Sue and Harvey, you know, they've been real stalwarts to the sport and you know, it, you know I shouldn't, shouldn't say they're getting old but you know this is you know getting to, towards the, the, yeah, yeah, to, getting towards the end of the, the training and I mean that, it's just unbelievable that they can send a horse here in, in this fettel and, and, and still still compete with the best. You know. And how significant are they for you of course Sue provided you with your Grand National winner or was on, or, yeah, I, or was on core in 2013? I think because of the National we always we always have that shared relationship that shared bond and you know they, they didn't have to start giving me rides again when I came out of retirement because ultimately it was them I let down when I retired and, and they've been so good to me letting me come back in and, and ride the horses and, and hopefully this this repays some of the faith in me. Do you feel that you let people down? What, didn't you just I, make a decision because you, you had to at the time? Yeah it, I, I couldn't see any other way out at the time um, but you know I still felt felt as though I let people down you know it was it was November you know it was just when we were starting to get busy and, and soon Harvey then had to find someone else to ride the horses and you know we had the national winner and we had a lot of history then and for me to walk away it must have been they must have been disappointed and you know as I say I can't thank them enough for, for taking me on again and since you've come back you've had see you at midnight you've had your kill now you've had vintage clouds what does this mean for you the fact that you were able to resurrect your career and take it to new heights in I fact I think it's, it's it's undescribable um you know to be able to come back and, and do that feeling as fit and as good as ever it just you know it, it makes it make, makes in my mind makes it right that I've came back in the first place but I just, you can't really put it into words. I can't thank everyone enough that supported me along the way and, and given me these opportunities. I think everyone else was convinced some time ago, Ryan. Many, many congratulations. Thank you. Richly deserved. Well done. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.